A couple of months ago, I made a video called The Best Hidden Fur in Sydney, um, featuring this place. It's called Two Foodies. They do this ridiculous, deep, rich fur broth that I haven't been able to find anywhere else in Sydney. You guys loved that video so much, I decided to come back and check it out one more time. This time, I wanted to go a bit further into the broth, let Peter, the owner, take me through and see what makes the broth so, really so special and so rich the way that he does it. The last time I was here as well, he taught me this special sauce that he makes that he eats the fur with and I really want to show you guys that too because that sauce blew my mind. It was just another way of eating fur that I haven't tried before so I really want to show you guys that. So if you're keen on seeing that recipe, keep watching. Dressed up nice today for this special occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a blue moon. See how we doing the broth now? This batch I'm doing is that we're doing a compound broth, meaning we use 50% of the old broth to start the new one. So it's all compounded up like that. So I'm just trying to make it more even thicker on the bottom end of the broth, uh, but on the top end we'll keep it the same flavors and the aroma. Just we don't want it to go any stronger than that. So see the color of the broth is actually gold. That's how deep, rich it is. So there's a lot more meat and bone than the broth itself because uh, when I form it, I think the meat and bone will be about three quarter. So you use 50% of the old broth and then 50% of just water. So you're starting this broth, um, you're giving it about 50% head start. It's basically strengthened the, the bottom end flavor as well. It's gonna make it richer, thicker, um, and just a lot more potent it's like that. So that's all your meat and bone and bone marrows and that, that's all on the top level right there ginger shallots that's all in see that little piece is there that's all marrow that's all bone marrow is there and that's all that meat that's been broken up we're going to use it for seasoning later as well this one here we started at about 10 o'clock yesterday so that would have been about over 24 hours now onion shallot ginger meat risk it in here as well it's the quality of the herbs quality of the meats and the way that you brew it as well to turn the gold like that this broth now is ready for seasoning right. mm -hmm. so that's the color that it should be nice and gold and very rich you can see it's, it's lots thicker as well so basically we've just strained it all out into here, straight into here. Right. And we do that every day. Last time I was here, I had my old camera, so I think this is gonna look like a whole lot better than before. So this is the special sauce that I was talking about, and I wanna show you guys how to make it. So essentially, you got this chili oil here. In Vietnamese culture, it's called sate, but you can just call it chili oil. And you've got this here, which is something special they do at Two Feeties, and that is pickled garlic, right? So you just ask for this extra. You'll get these big bottles of hoisin and sriracha. Essentially what you want to do is you have the chili oil, let's call that one part. You want to put some hoisin sauce and sriracha sauce as well to make it three parts. Okay, so three parts hoisin and sriracha evenly, 50-50, and one part chili oil. So let's just chuck this in here. Alright, that's the hoisin. And the sriracha and then you want to get fish sauce and then you drop it one about there not too much just a little bit and then lime or lemon so you want about one part of that as well after you mix it all, all up a little bit it's gonna look like this you can add some fresh chilies in there as well very very tasty yeah back to that sauce what you want to do is sort of mix it around Really get that chili oil coming through like that. With the lemon, you want to drizzle it in. 
and then what you want to do is just actually pop that lemon into the soup as well and that lemon's going to give the soup a lot of flavor this broth looks fantastic i actually asked for extra meat so essentially we can see is a load of beef brisket here which i love here i think they actually do some of the best beef brisket in any type of fur in Sydney. Um, I mean, you got the beef meatballs, beef balls. This is my favorite thing in this broth. This thing is amazing right here. It's actual beef meat that comes from the broth. So it comes from the stock that it comes. Fatty, it's meaty and it's delicious. And then you got the brisket there as well. Some chili oil in there. I don't really like adding a lot of things into my fur broth because I like appreciating the fur broth for what it is. So I never really add like hoisin or sriracha. I just like, I was like tasting the, the flavor of the broth itself, but chili oil, in my opinion, always adds a lot of flavor to it. Like good flavor, it complements it, you know? It doesn't take away from what you're tasting. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Just look at that. Beautiful fur. The noodles are done perfectly. And I'm not sure if I said this in the last video, but in Australia with EFA, we use fresh rice noodles. So they're flat. I've seen fur come from other countries like America, Canada, and what they do over there is most of the time when you order fur at a restaurant, they actually use um, those rice noodles that come dry and package, and then you reheat them in water. So in my opinion, they don't taste as good as this. It's like really nice man. First things first, always always try the broth before you do anything. It's damn good today. That broth's always amazing man, I love it. Any bit of basil into the mix is always a must for me. I like adding bean sprouts but not all of them. I want to taste some noodles too, not bean sprouts the whole way through, personally. What do you guys do? Do you guys put um, basil and bean sprouts in your broth as well? That, to me, is perfect. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Mm. These are the brisket sheets, as you can see. I'll show you up close here. Beautiful ratio of meat to fat there. And what that means is with every bite that you put in your mouth, it just sort of like dissolves in your mouth so well. You know, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna dip it into that sauce that we made earlier. I'm telling you guys, man, ever since the last time I came in here and Peter showed me how to make this sauce, I haven't eaten fur. I haven't eaten fur any other way, 100%. I'll go to other fur restaurants, which I haven't filmed YouTube videos for or anything yet. I'll make this sauce. That's how good this sauce is. Please guys, try this sauce. You've got a great crunch there from the basil and the bean sprouts. Make sure you don't put too much chili oil into the broth. Um, <coughs> You don't want it to be overpowering, you just want it to sort of lightly complement. Look at this meat here. Mm. So good. And those pieces of beef that come straight from the stock pot, with every bite, you can actually taste all of the seasoning that went into the stock. Really, really tasty stuff. Really, really good. Mm, that sauce, man. That sauce is the greatest, the greatest of all time fur compliment I have ever tasted. It's so good. I'm so glad he taught me this sauce. <laughs> so what I used to do, right? I think with this sauce, essentially what it does is it, it heightens your senses. You know, you get a bit of spice, you get, you get the sweet, you get the savory. And then, like, because it's chili, you got the fresh chilies, the chili oil, the sriracha, you start to like sort of sweat a little bit. Like, your mouth goes, I wouldn't say numb, but it just elevates what you're eating. 
it's ridiculous. That's good, man. You can actually see the, the sweat starting to bead around my mouth already. <clears throat> I'm feeling it, man. <laughs> Bit of pickled garlic. Mm. I think the pickled garlic would go really well with the broth itself as well. I'm just adding a little, a little bit in. Got here a piece of brisket, pickled garlic together. Mm. Good combination. Great combination. All right, now, now my face is starting to go a little bit more numb. The skin's starting to go a bit more tingly. Tingly, tingly is the right word. And if you live in an Asian family, you'll know that sometimes, especially like summer, winter, what you'll see is like if you go to like a family dinner and they eat pho and bun eh, and that sort of stuff, like Vietnamese broths, and you see a lot of dads and uncles start to take off their shirt. If you bring this sauce to that family dinner, 100% they'll take off their shirt straight away at the dinner table. Mm. This is what good food is all about. It's about more than just tasting really good, but it's about, you know, making your senses feel a certain way. Why does everything taste so damn good? <laughs> That's a really, really nice piece of brisket there. Going straight into the sauce. You're gonna lather it around. Really get all that sriracha, all that chili oil, all that hoisin. Mm. I think I need to wipe my face, man. <laughs> I'm like... Getting sweat beads all over my face from that tingling, from the, the spice that... Burns so good. <laughs> it's not like crazy spicy. It's not like unbearable spicy. You know what I mean? It's um <coughs> spicy enough to tickle your throat. Mm. This is that pickled garlic. And let me just take a bite out of it for you. See that it's nice and pickled all the way through. It's a nice crunch and a nice like touch of freshness. If I was at home right now, I'd be taking off my shirt like five minutes ago. It'd be crazy. <laughs> I haven't even tasted the beef ball yet. Beef ball with the sauce. Yeah, that's good. You can just see the broth of the fur just take on a sort of reddish color from the chili oil and from all the flavors that we've been adding into the broth. I'm telling you, it doesn't take away from the broth flavor, which is, in my opinion, so important. My goodness me. My goodness me. Uh, I'm sweating. My heart's beating. My skin's tingling. Everything's tingling around me. I just had an amazing, amazing fur experience and I hope that you guys will get to come out here and try out this fur experience too. If you thought the broth looked good in the last video, try it with the sauce. Anyway, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video and always coming out with me with my food adventures. I really appreciate it. I hope you've been liking the video so far. I'm still trying my best to get one video, at least one video out a week. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe if you haven't and hit that like button down below. Tag me on Instagram if you come out and try the fur because I always love seeing what you guys think and always repost on Instagram too. So it's my way of um, getting to know you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.